couple of screws on your um, cut the bolts on your fuel filter housing. Be very careful with those pipes, they are brittle. If you over bend them, I'm going to get a cable tie and hold that there, I think, when we're done. If you um, over pressure or over, over stress them, they'll snap. Right, great pipe, all loose, all unclipped from the bulkhead. Um, clutch supply pipe pops up underneath the uh, piece there. Pop down. I've unscrewed it, unbolted it from the um, clutch slave, which is a 13mm spanner, open ended. That's popped off nice and gently. That's that. I've got some wiring loom to cover, but I want to get this big lump out of the way next. So here is how you remove a master without breaking into the circuit. You've got two bolts. Hold it into there, and if you unclip, I'll get my head in the way. If you unclip all the pipes that hold it to the bulkhead, it will give you a reasonable amount of slack. If your brake pipes are rusty and you overstress them, they're going to snap. What we're doing is persuading. There you go, supporting its own weight. All good now. Where did I put my uh, needle nose pliers? Right, okay, I don't know what I've done with them. Brake servo, another piece that is extremely brittle. It just pushes into rubber. If you pull this piece, you'll snap it. What I suggest is some needle nose pliers and some WD-40, slide them in between the rubber and the plastic and use it to lever it off. That's that, twist nicely out of the way. That's the brake pump, the vacuum pump. That'll be another DVD. Now, if you want to change your brake servo, which is this lump here, you can take your, undo your two bolts there.